The RBC Heritage is back on Hilton Head, and this year it is one of eight signature events of the PGA Tour. Kicking off our team coverage is WSAV Sarah Smith. She was there for the opening ceremonies and joins us now with more on what organizers say makes this tournament so special. That's right, Ben. Well, the RBC Heritage is more than just birdies, bogeys, and plaid. It's about tradition and community. Two major themes at the opening ceremony today. It's a tradition like really like no others. I mean, there's really no other event on the PGA Tour that has an opening ceremony like this. And to have the cannon fire too, it certainly gets the juices flowing. Matt Fitzpatrick, last year's RBC Heritage winner, marking the start of the 2024 tournament on Hilton Head Island, continuing a decades old tradition. Tournament director Steve Wilmot says he loves to see this every year, but 2024 is extra special. I and mean, you can feel the, the vibe and the, the buzz, and especially being awarded the signature series, there is a different buzz, but it's an exciting buzz with that too. So I'm, I'm honored to be a part of things. Another tradition is philanthropy. $52.9 million has been donated to charities in South Carolina since the tournament began in 1969. $5.4 million was given to 386 senior students so far. Those 2024 recipients being honored at the ceremony by walking in the parade this year. Yeah, I'm getting chill bumps thinking about it. I mean, it's not, we're in a community here on Hilton Head Island in the Low Country uh, that really embraces this. If we're successful, we can then in turn help out charitable organizations, scholars, and other things as well. Hilton Head's mayor, Alan Perry, says he's thankful for the impact on the community here and remembers the time when the event was much smaller. I remember the days when there were just a few people out here, but to have people lined up all the way to the first tee, that's really special. That says a lot and how much it's grown. And not only did people out here talk about the community impact this tournament has in the area, but they also spoke about the tourism and the business that it brings. 